hello all welcome to our uh, channel so in this particular video we will talk about uh, um, the under voltage lockout circuit so under voltage lockout circuit as uh, the name um, says any voltage uh, um, which is lesser than a specific voltage uh, shall not be passed on to the load and it will be cut off so there will be a specific threshold that is set in the circuit uh, once um, the supply voltage goes beyond that uh, um, threshold voltage uh, the load the supply shall be pro uh, shall be supplied to the load so now when we say shall be supplied and shall not be supplied there should be some switch element right to cut off the supply to the load so for this there is a mosfet here so the, the functionality of this mosfet uh, uh, is such that uh, uh, when we desire uh, the <coughs> supply to be provided to the load uh, it is on and when we don't want the uh, supply to be provided to the load it will be in off condition so the 1k is a load here so this 1k again uh, uh, depends on the load current that we want so for uh, our condition we considered uh, um, a 1k load for uh, indicative purpose and this is n channel uh, p channel mosfet which is included here <laughs> the core of this particular circuit uh, uh, is a comparator we know the basic functionality of the comparator is uh, uh, whenever the voltage on non inverting terminal is greater than inverting terminal the output is high and whenever the voltage on inverting terminal is greater than non inverting terminal the voltage is low the output voltage is low so based on this um, the output voltage of this particular comparator drives the mosfet to either on or off condition that is the core element of this uh, um, under voltage lockout circuit so this particular circuit is drawn in mp lab uh, um, mindy analog simulation uh, and uh, here in this circuit we considered mcp6541 as a comparator as this is um, available in uh, the library mp lab mindy library uh, so we can choose our uh, op amp based on the requirement so this op amp uh, uh, comparator uh, can work up to 5.5 volt uh, um, maximum so we we gave a 5.2 volt here again uh, uh, depends on what uh, uh, um, comparator you select so this comparator can only operate up to 5.5 so we gave it a uh, voltage of 5.2 for its operation and then to the inverting and the non inverting terminal we provided uh, um, two uh, voltage inputs so to uh, the non inverting terminal uh, we we are providing a, a reference voltage here so this reference voltage is generated using uh, a gina diode uh, so you can see here the gina diode is basically <coughs> a 5.1 volt uh, gina diode and then the current to this gina diode is limited using this resistor so the selection of this resistor depends on uh, uh, the power dis power uh, dissipation capability of this particular uh, um, uh, gina diode so uh, we have to uh, the main design consideration here is basically selecting the resistor and uh, based on the um, reference voltage that is required we can select the uh, diode voltage as well right now we we consider 5.1 it could be 4.7 or it could go to 6 7 whatever uh, uh, reference voltage we want to consider we can use it here so this again uh, uh, depends on uh, how um, the input to what the value of input voltage connected here and secondly to the non inverting terminal uh, there are two resistors here um, which is a resistor division uh, from the supply voltage and the divided voltage is connected to the non inverting terminal of this comparator so these resistors are selected such that uh, whenever the input voltage at a specific value uh, is at a specific value uh, uh, this uh, uh, voltage goes beyond um, the reference voltage so the condition here is basically uh, here 
the voltage is 5.1 whenever the voltage on the non inverting terminal is less than 5.1 uh, the output is high and uh, the p channel mosfet is off whenever the voltage goes beyond uh, supply voltage goes beyond certain level um, this particular uh, um, uh, resistor division voltage goes beyond this threshold and the output goes low and uh, um, the p channel mosfet turns on so that's how uh, the functionality of uh, p channel mosfet so th this uh, circuit is uh, uh, an indicative purpose we have to uh, modify the circuit a little uh, simulate it and see how um, the functionality is <coughs> is performed uh, under different uh, test conditions uh, so uh, a, a very rough sketch to help you understand how um, a under voltage lockout works so the main design decisions uh, here are one is uh, um, the gina diode voltage uh, and its uh, power dissipation there is the selection of the resistor and selection of the resistor divider network um, and uh, uh, the selection of uh, the comparator uh, from different manufacturers as we mentioned uh, here we considered this because of uh, uh, the lab uh, its library is available in uh, uh, MP lab Mindy uh, so the, we considered MCP 6541 so and then the, the MOSFET so uh, the here the MOSFET selection basically should be such that uh, this should be able to handle um, the thermal uh, dissipation so again um, how we can decide is uh, depending on the load current so when you want a specific load current the power dissipated across this uh, <coughs> MOSFET uh, depends on its uh, um, RDS on so the internal uh, resistance on resistance so this particular resistance um, into the current uh, <coughs> gives uh, the, the voltage drop right uh, and uh, sorry the power dissipation across this uh, uh, depends on um, i square r so the, the current flowing through this and then into uh, the resistance so this is how the uh, power uh, dissipated across this uh, MOSFET is calculated and uh, mm, in many cases a single MOSFET may not be enough because uh, um, you might have you might need uh, two MOSFETs in parallel to handle that much power dissipation because uh, mm, a single MOSFET may not be able to handle and uh, using two MOSFETs in parallel can uh, uh, distribute uh, the current across them and hence uh, uh, thermally we might pass it. so another important consideration for this MOSFET is uh, mm, we need to uh, have as low uh, RDS on as possible so that the power dissipation gets reduced so that's how um, this MOSFET need to be selected so Considering all this scenario, uh, a, a simple circuit can be implemented. Uh, so, th as we mentioned, this is a, a 22 circuit mentioned here and drawn in uh, MP Lab Mindy. Mm, uh, so, a basic under voltage circuit. This need to be modified a little based on your requirements. Uh, but uh, uh, the basic idea of the under voltage circuit uh, um, is uh, this way, and it can be implemented in this circuit. Uh, thanks for. Watching. please let us know if you have any questions uh, mm, mm, please post your comments uh, please uh, like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you